All right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharaka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. All right, and uh, this lesson, I want to go into the Lord returning. All right, and uh, you know, with an army of angels. Okay, and that's what the, is written. Okay, the scriptures uh, uh, tell us, you know, clearly how the Lord is going to return. Okay. And it's going to be a, a great show of power, you know, because the Lord is coming to take over, all right, and establish a righteous kingdom uh, that, that will never fall, all right? So I want to read Revelations 1 and 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so, amen. All right, so, and this is talking about our Lord. Okay, the re the revelation, all right, the revealing. Okay, at the end, the last days, when our Lord would return to the earth, all right, it says, He cometh with clouds, all right. So this is going to be something to 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 look at, all right. It says, behold, all right, meaning you know, look at this, because this is going to be a world changing event, all right. He cometh with clouds, and those clouds represent the so called UFOs, okay, the chariots of the Lord in the scriptures, all right. The vehicles of the the angels, all right, spiritual uh, spiritual vehicles. Okay, that can't you know uh, be destroyed. They can't like uh, be shot out the sky, or they can't you know malfunction, <laughs> you know, and and have a crash landing, you know, like they've been lying and and um, you know pushing that uh, agenda and narrative, you know, for years. Okay. Which is false, right? Because the, the chariots of the Lord, you know, the chariots of the holy angels, they, they don't crash. <laughs> you know, to even think about to, that, that, if that could even be possible, is ridiculous. Okay, they're spiritual vehicles, they're per 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 perfection. All right, pure power. So that's what the clouds represent. Okay, because the Lord is coming back with an army. All right, <clears throat> the thousands and, and multitudes of heaven. Okay, now it says, and every eye shall see him. So it's not going to be something missed. It's not going to be something that the nations and heathens can escape. They're all going to be faced with the return of our Lord, which our Lord and Savior being the image of a so-called black man, according to the scriptures. Okay, that's uh, another lie, you know, um, in the earth, all right? The true image of our Lord, all right? They, the people believing that the Lord looks like an Edomite, a so-called white man, which is actually false. Okay, so they're going to see him as he is, man. Okay, people are not going to be able to, you know, uh, um, you know, say, or, you know, put up a debate or, you know, uh, try and scoff in that day because it's just going to be in everyone's face. So it says, and they also which pierced him. So that lets you know that reincarnation is in the scriptures. That lets you know because that's talking about reincarnation. How is it that those that pierced our Lord when he was on the cross is going to be able to see the Lord coming back on the earth? How are they going to be able to see that unless they are the same spirit, the same spirit, but in different flesh, being born again in a different flesh? See, that's reincarnation, which reincarnation just means back in the flesh. So those that, you know, are prepared for judgment, they're going to be here in these last days. All right, they're going to see the Lord's glory. They're going to see the Lord take vengeance. Okay? The Lord is coming back for payback. All right? Those that pierced him, all his adversaries, he's going to put them down. Okay? And it says, And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so are man. So these nations and heathens and the adversaries of our Lord, they're not going to be happy. They're going to be uh, sorrowful. They're going to be crying and, and um, you know, they're going to be in a, 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 you know, distraught state. Okay, why? Because the Lord is coming to bring so much judgment and destruction. All right. And those chariots, they're going to do a lot of damage, man. Um, the scriptures tell you that the Lord's strength is in the clouds, man. 
You know what? Let me get that. I uh, know it's, it's in Psalms. Uh, believe it. Let's just do a quick word search here, man. All right, so this is Psalms 104. All right, this is a good one. In Psalms 104 and verse 3, it says, Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. All right, so that's showing you, okay? Because these chariots, all right, what the world calls so-called UFOs, which they're identified to us, we know what they are because they're in the scriptures, as chariots, okay? So the so-called UFOs have different terms in the scriptures, okay? But the scriptures let you know, that is talking about those chariots, all right? He says, who maketh the clouds his chariot. So when the Lord comes back with clouds, it's not talking about actual, like, rain clouds. Like, a cloud is about to rain, storm, and no. It's just a term that, that is being used to describe, all right? Yep, this is the one I wanted. Yep, this is Psalms chapter 68. Uh, you know what? Let me start up a bit. This is Psalm 68. I want to start at verse 17. It says, The chariots of Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Right? So there's multitudes of those angels, those holy angels, which a lot of people are seeing more sightings of. And that's no coincidence, man. There's the, the reason being is because we're coming into the time where the Lord is going to fully invade and, in, and show these chariots, show his strength, show his power. And these chariots, they're going to be a part of demonstrating that. They're going to sh showcase the Lord's power in the earth, man. All right. And we, you know, Israel, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, our people have a history with these chariots because they was, you know, present there when we was in egypt in ancient egypt being delivered all right <clears throat> so let me jump down to verse 34 it says ascribe ye strength unto yahweh his excellency is over israel all right it says yeah it says ascribe ye strength unto yahweh bar Hashem yahweh shai his excellency is over israel and his strength is in the clouds you see, so those clouds, right, the chariots, which is what that represents. The Lord is going to show his strength, man. So when all these armies of these heathen nations and their militaries come and try and fight and try and attack when the holy angels invade and when the Lord returns to the earth, they're going to be annihilated. They're going to be destroyed. You know, talking about Star Wars, all right, this, that's the real Star Wars, man. When the Lord really invades this earth from the high heavens with an army, of holy angels and, and, and great power, spiritual power, these heathen nations and their guns and their uh, fighter jets, their tanks, all of that is just going to be completely just put to a stop. All right, if you've seen that movie, um, I think Watchmen, you know, Dr. Manhattan, that type of power, which, you know, the, the, he was basically crushing tanks without even touching them. You know, so the Lord's coming back to really do some damage to these heathens, man. To destroy his enemies. Which the scriptures tell you that the Lord's coming to bring a sword. Alright? Not peace. Alright? The Lord's coming to judge this wicked earth, man. So let me close with these last few scriptures. Alright, let me get the book of Isaiah. Chapter 66 and verse 15. It says, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai, will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Okay, so the Lord is coming back angry. Okay, all the evil that's being done in the earth, all the wickedness that's being pushed in the earth, the blasphemy, 
you know, all these things that goes against the, the Lord's word, that's, you know, being pushed in the earth, the, the Lord's coming back to rebuke all of that, all the wickedness and, and correct, correct, you know, uh, correct everything. Because right now things are upside down, everything's backwards. There's only evil and, and, and wickedness that's being done and, and pushed in the earth. All right. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That's what's happening in, in this earth. So the law's coming back to destroy these nations and also those that put the Lord's people in slavery. OK, those that harmed and oppressed the Lord's chosen people, the Israelites. All right. Those that, you know, have, have uh, destroyed and, and um, continuously uh, uh, oppressed the Israelites. There's going to be punishments for that, man. The law's coming back for uh, uh, um, retribution, all right, for justice, and it's going to be done by judgment, all right, destruction, all right. So when the Lord returns, He's going to invade this earth with an army of chariots. It's going to be from all angles, all sides, all right. The real Independence Day, okay. When you, if you've seen that movie with Will Smith, okay, you know they showed you scenes around the White House being completely you know taken out man the, 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 you know all that's what's gonna happen all these different types of idols all these different structures all right they're all gonna be completely destroyed man the lord is coming to bring a complete you know righteous kingdom all right and make things new so it says for by fire and by his sword will the lord Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai plead with all flesh. So the Lord is coming to bring fire, man, and that's those concentrated fires, man. The heat, you know, from the from the chariots that show you like zapping laser beams. Okay, where do you think they get that from? They don't put that in their movies just because they're so so creative. No, they get it from the scriptures. That's what's gonna happen in these last days. The Lord is gonna showcase true power. He's gonna take these heathens out. It's going to be total, full on action, non-stop uh, uh, victory for the Lord. Okay, because it says by fire and by a sword. So that sword represents destruction and that's what's coming. They ain't going to be able to escape. There's going to be no avoiding this. The Lord is coming to bring judgment down, man. And plead, I'm meaning to judge. All right? He's not going to negotiate with these heathen nations. No, he's, he's going to have them all ready for World War Three. All lined up, all in formation, and the Lord is going to show up and destroy them. Okay, look, it says, and the slain of the Lord, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall be many. So it's going to be many slain of the Lord. All right? Many slain of the Lord, man. The most, uh, uh, you know, casualties. That's going to be the, by the, the Lord's judgment. So the Lord is coming for serious business, man. All right, so I'm going to close with this in Revelations 19 and verse 11. And I saw heaven opened. All right, heaven meaning the firmament. All right, when you look up in the upper atmosphere, that's how the Lord is coming back. All right? He's coming back through that, um, through the upper atmosphere. All right, and it says, and behold, a white horse. All right, meaning pure power, white representing pure and the horse representing power. Which are those chariots, all right? The Lord is coming back on the biggest one, the, the fathership, all right? That's going to be bigger than the earth, all right? Ezra's uh, spoke about that, okay? Now it says, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, which is uh, titles and attributes of our Lord, okay? And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. So the Lord's coming back to make war, all right? He's going, coming to go to war with these heathen nations and their armies all right, and to de deliver the elect, the chosen few of his people, the Israelites that repent. All right, to be delivered from the destruction, the nuclear fire of World War III, the, the total destruction of America, which is Babylon the Great. All these things that's coming. The Lord is going to show up in the midst and bring judgment, man, and deliver a chosen few, a remnant of his people. All right. So that's really it. Oh, I just wanted to just make that point. Uh, Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to end it there and say all praises be to Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the elect out there. Shalom.